what would prevent the collapse of a white dwarf star further and further once there were no internal sources of energy why would it not continue to collapse collapse into nothing perhaps this was a point that was worrying that had been worrying uh, author eddington as he expressed it in his book internal constitution of stars well what would come to the rescue of the white dwarfs in fact was quantum mechanics revolution which was going on in those very decades when these issues were being looked at by the astrophysicists and there would be something which would allow white dwarf perhaps to live in peace as a dense object and that was a a milestone principle of quantum mechanics numerated by wolfgang pauli the pauli exclusion principle which states that no two elementary particles which are called fermions which uh, have half integral spins no two such particles could exist in a system in the same quantum state so they would have each such particle would have to have its own distinctive quantum state so this allowed uh, the white dwarf to stay in peace uh, if the white dwarf had been made of particles which were bosons uh, with integral spins it could perhaps have had condensed further but the, uh, the white dwarf essentially was like a very dense um, Uh, atomic material where uh, all the electrons were in a kind of a loose sea and these electrons were then the sea they were a sea of fermions which then had to follow pauli's exclusion principle and would have to each of them would have to have their own um, distinctive quantum state here is a visualization of the exclusion principle uh two different isotopes of lithium uh for fermions and bosons each and uh, the kind of um, condensed state possible in the case of each so this principle then when we looked at a gas of such fermions their energy states the the relative distribution of energy states possible for a sea of fermions to follow was the statistics which now is known as fermi dirac statistics enumerated by enrico fermi and dirac and so uh this then had to be the physics of um, Uh, for a, a sea of fermions which was looked at by ralph foller almost a year or two after the enumeration of these uh, two principles and the statistics to be followed by fermions um this uh, depicts the kind of distribution that one might expect uh at different uh, temperatures given that there were fermions which were uh, uh present in a system given this kind of a distribution it turned out that there would uh have to be a a state a peace, peaceful state for the white dwarf which would be like a full house uh if there were to be any further condensation of the white dwarf this would then uh lead to there being electrons which would have to share their quantum state with other electrons which could not be allowed by the exclusion principle and by the fact that they had to follow this fermi dirac statistics 
So it seemed that the uh, white dwarf could come to rest in a peaceful state. So this was shown by a work of Ralph Fowler. All of these were being followed very um, intensely by Chandrasekhar and he looked at this and uh, it seemed to him that there was a, a little something yet to be added to this picture of a white dwarf uh, that was emerging at that time. So that was the work that he was involved in in those two weeks that he was sailing from Bombay towards England to pursue his higher studies.